Well, oh, before Taurus Riley was anybody, yeah. Taurus Riley was just Jimmy Riley's son who just run around <laughs> in the studio as a little kid. Yeah. And I don't know why, but he would just question me about everything. <laughs> he would see me at Sunsplash and he would just, what I'm doing? And then he started. He wanted to know who you were, yeah. who the cameraman was, why did the cameraman video me? And why did you ask me so, so many questions? He wanted to know everything. And I used to just tell him. And then years after that, he came to Jamaica with another artist, Lavasca, who was his friend. And they wanted me to produce some stuff for them. So I produced Lavasca's album and they actually lived at my house during that period. And I would come home and I would come home like maybe two or three in the morning and Taurus would be there on a the piano singing a song. And he just walk me. Yeah, and he say, you know, play a little song and and then I would pass him as if I don't even hear what he's doing. And I would go in my room and I would just listen. And I would I, I just say that that kid has something. You know the and desire and the work ethic was there to want. And it and, and, and you could see him burning up He's trying to bring this thing out, you know? So I finally, that's how I influenced him, ah, the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand me? But he had this talent that he was just there and thing. And then, I mean, he might have been shy and so forth. But I taught him, I said, man, don't be afraid, man. You know? I said, the only way you can be corrected is when you make your mistakes, you know? So, you know, people have to understand that. And then to see a young budding musician who could pay attention, retain, and execute. You don't want anything more than that, you know. Life comes easy when you have that. And he was the man for that. Job.